the U.S. government versus Godwin Enefele and Namdi Kano over arrest by DSS. See details. The United States government has issued strong criticism regarding the arbitrary arrest of two prominent figures in Nigeria, Godwin Emefele, the former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, and Enam Dikano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. The arrests carried out by security personnel in Nigeria have raised concerns about human rights violations and the rule of law in the country. In its 2023 country report on human rights practices in Nigeria, published on the U.S. Department of State's website, the U.S. highlighted several key issues, including the prolonged pretrial detention of individuals, denial of access to court, and interference with the judicial process. The report revealed that law enforcement and intelligence agencies in Nigeria did not consistently follow due process particularly in the prosecution of corruption case, cases. This failure to adhere to legal procedures resulted in the arbitrary arrest of suspects without proper warrant for arrest or, and search. One of the cases highlighted in the report is that of Godwin Emefiele, who was detained by the Department of State Services on June 10 for investigative reasons. Despite being granted bail by a federal high court in Lagos on July 24, with instructions to be held at the Ikoyi Correctional Center until bail was fulfilled, the DSS attempted to rearrest him. This led to a confrontation between DSS agents and the officers of the Nigerian Correctional Service. The report also addressed the detention of Unam Dikanu, who is considered the leader of IPOB, a government-designated terrorist nation organization. Kanu was detained by the DSS on national security grounds, sparking further controversy and criticism. The United States, gov States expressed concern over the lack of transparency and adherence to due process in both cases, emphasizing the importance of upholding human rights and the rule of law. Furthermore, the, highlighted, the report highlighted the broader issue of political interference in the Nigerian judicial system. It noted instances where individuals were denied access to fair and impartial trials often due to their political affiliations or perceived opposition to the government. In response to these findings, the U.S. called on the Nigerian government to ensure the fair treatment of all individuals within its jurisdiction and to respect the principles of due process and rule of law. The criticism from the United States comes amid growing international scrutiny of Nigeria's human rights record and concerns about the erosion of democratic norms in the country. In addition to the specific cases of Emefele and Kano, the U.S. report raised broader concerns about the state of democracy and governance in Nigeria. It noted instances of intimidation and violence against journalists, activists, and political opponents, as well as restrictions on freedom of speech and expression. The report underscored the importance of addressing these issues to foster a climate of accountability, transparency, and respect for human rights in Nigeria. In light of this development, there have been calls for the Nigerian government to take concrete steps to address the concerns raised by the U.S. and other international partners. This includes conducting thorough and impartial investigations into allegations of human rights abuses, holding perpetrators accountable, and ensuring that all individuals have afforded their basic rights and freedom. The criticism from the United States serves as a reminder of the importance of upholding human rights and the rule of law, not only in Nigeria but around the world. 
it sends a clear message that violations of these principles will not be tolerated and that those responsible will be held accountable. As the, as the international community continues to monitor the situation in Nigeria, there is hope that constructive dialogue, dialogue and engagement can lead to meaningful reforms that strengthen democracy, protect human rights, and promote peace and stability in the country. Don't forget to like this video, comment under this video, and click on the subscribe button to get more news like this.